So before we go to our, our cocktail break, I have a couple of things. But before we go there, we uh, were lucky enough last year, uh, one of our fellows, Jonathan Pirro, was able to do a talk on preservation at our archive salon last year. And he interviewed Stephen Parr of Oddball Films, who passed away this year. And he was, uh, he was able to record some images and some conversation with Stephen. And he's going to share a couple of moments of that with us now. Jonathan? Hey there. So last year uh, for my fellowship talk, it was the subject of archive and I went to Oddball Films, which if you've never been there before, it's in the mission. It's this gigantic, absolutely massive warehouse that has like, like 80,000 films inside of it. It is, it is indescribably large. Um, and I met with Stephen Parr, who is the curator there and did about a 20 minute interview, talking to him about film preservation and moving from film to digital and things like that. And you know he's very quiet, soft-spoken, but he is very passionate about film and you know preserving generation upon generation of, of all of these films. And so added that to my talk. Uh, he came along to the salon and he seemed to enjoy it quite a bit. And then recently learned of his untimely passing at the end of October of this year. Uh, so I prepared this short segment, which is about a minute long, from a clip uh, of the interview that I gave with him with uh, some photos that I took while I was there. You know, a lot of people transfer home movies and then they throw the films away. I got a DVD. There's a company online on Facebook that advertises all this on time called Legacy.com. Mm -hmm. They'll transfer a VHS tape or a film for five bucks or ten bucks mm -hmm. to a DVD. You know, you scratch DVD and you're done. So I'm not advocating people go back to film. Mm -hmm. But I'm advocating the fact that um, film is a longer lasting storage solution. And probably when you did, if you did the math on it, and you didn't need to do anything more than store it, mm -hmm. and, and show it once in a while, and you didn't have to worry about distribution particularly, it would probably be more economical less storage space, mm -hmm. you know, you'd have to have a lot of space for it to store it, but it would, it would physically take up a lot of space, but would also still be probably more inexpensive over the long run mm -hmm. with those conditions in mind. So thank you very much, Stephen. You will be very, you'll be very missed. So for anyone who's curious, um, you can still see, Oddball Films is still going. You can go to oddball, oddballfilms.com. Like I said, uh, the facility's in the mission. I don't know if they've opened yet for tours or anything like that, uh, but they probably will soon. He also had a project called filmforever.org, which is the home movie registry. So you can check out lots and lots of clips that they had there. And if you have very, very old film, you know, particularly if it's on like, you know, 8-track or any other sort of old real film, you can submit it to Film Forever and they can archive it for you. Um, and also, in January, there will be a memorial service for Stephen Parr at the Roxy Theater. There's information on oddballfilms.com. So if you are at all interested in Oddball or any of the interesting works that, you know, came from there, uh, we'd love to see you there. So thanks very much. All right, a real quick recap of the places Adventure Harvey has been. So we went and took a quick look. We have our pocket-sized uh, Wolpertingers that are made for us by Isolde, one of the partners of Odd Salon. And as of this year, uh, Harvey has now been to all seven continents, which is pretty amazing. The uh, Harvey diaspora continues to grow. Um, he's gone to all kinds of amazing places. This is at Fly Geyser in Nevada, at Hearst Castle, watching an eclipse. Uh, the, Harvey watched the eclipse in a whole bunch of different places. This is, uh, this is an Oregon eclipse watching, I believe. Um, went to a, a hackers convention with a few familiar faces. Uh, paid some tribute to the Donner Party at the, at the Donner Pass. Visited with a Galapagos turtle, which is pretty awesome. Uh, made some friends in scenic places. Took a, took a trip on the Grand Canal. 
Um, and so we'd like to encourage this to continuing forward. We have tonight special Krampus Harveys that Isolde has made for us along with our, our usual Adventure Harveys. Um, and if you hashtag them Adventure Harvey, we will add them to our map, which is an ever-growing project, and we would love to see all of your pictures. And now we're going to go, um, I'd like to encourage everyone to visit our special holiday shop version of our merch table. Everything you buy, every last dollar that you, you spend on something here, first of all, every single thing here was made specially for us with a lot of love and care from the community here. Um, and all of it goes into us being able to continue doing this thing uh, that we're doing here, and we really appreciate it. We also are really, really, really excited about some of the things that we have. Raven Ebner, who is a fellow of Odd Salon, designed these beautiful bookmarks for us uh, that are inspired by a uh, medieval book, uh, book curse with, uh, there's a little small asterisk after the medieval book curse, but these book plates are definitely cursed. Um, we have our brand new Odd Salon t-shirts and hoodies. In that everyone has been asking for for at least a year and we finally did it. Um, they're in limited quantities, so please grab one today. And we also have, can somebody hold up one of the Rich Black designs? Rich Black designed our Odd Salon artwork for this year with our, ah, there we go, with our icons inspired by four of our favorite stories from Odd Salon, and we also have those in extremely limited quantities. This one's mine. That one's his. Uh, so if you would like a kraken or an attacking bear or an exploding volcano or some uh, floating wildlife in a hot air balloon, uh, grab those before they're gone because I, the, I think that's the limited batch. We also have the only magnetic poetry that gives you the opportunity to talk about uh, adventure ostriches and wolpertingers and naked mole rats. Um, our glassware, which also features the rich black um, artwork from this year, and a special uh, bit that we put together for our, one of our odd boxes. We have a recipe book set that includes um, a collection of historic recipes, as well as um, cocktails, every single which of which actually has a real backstory as compared to just like some random bartender made it up in 1924, which I think is nice, and some um, leveling up postcards for your next cocktail or, or holiday party. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Uh, grab a cocktail, visit the merch table, pester anyone with a pin. If you have questions, those are all of our fellows, and we'll see you back in just a few minutes.